Okay, so we've got someone investing $4,500, and the interest you get is $270. 270 as a percentage of 4,500. I find it sometimes help to, helps to ask yourself the question, what's 270 as a fraction of 4,500? Well, that's just 270 over 4,500. Okay, so 270 is, if you like, 274,500 of 4,500. Now, all we've got to do now is change that into a percentage. So as a decimal, it comes out as 0 0.06. That's just using your calculator as a percentage. Remember to change a decimal into a percentage, which is multiplied by 100. In other words, it's just the same as 6%. OK, so 270 is 6% of 4,500. OK, what we've now got is someone investing money at a rate of 4.5% per year. So she's going to invest something, and the interest that she gets is 4.5% of that something. So in other words, what we're saying here is, if you like, 4.5% of something that we don't know, and this is what we're trying to find out, is the same as $117. Okay, so 4.5% of X is 117. Okay. Now, if we change that into, back into a decimal, I think that's the easiest way, moving the decimal point two places to the left, Okay, we end up with, okay, there's the decimal point now, 0 0.045. So what we're saying here is that 0 0.045 multiplied by x is 117. And if we want to find out what x is then, x is then just by rearranging it, dividing both sides by the 0 0.045, x is going to be 117 divided by 0 0.045, which comes out as... Um, two thousand six hundred dollars. Okay, you could check that if you like. If you now find four and a half percent, if you find five four point five percent of two thousand six hundred, well, the easiest way you can do it is if you like four point five divided by a hundred times two thousand six hundred. If you work that out, it will come out as one hundred and seventeen. So you can check that that actually is correct. Okay, next one, here we have someone investing some money at 4% per year. So his original money is going to grow by 4%. In other words, his original amount of money that he has, okay, that he invests, which we don't know, and that's what we're trying to find out, is increased by 4%. In other words, it's multiplied by 1.04. Remember, if you like, you're finding 104%, or his money has increased by 4%, so it's now 104% of what it was in the first place. That is $3,328. Okay, this is crucial, this first stage. X then, which is the amount that he invests, is going to have to be 3,328 divided by 1.04, and that comes out as $3,200. Again, you could check that that's right. If you now do 3,200 and you increase that by 4%, in other words, you multiply it by 1.04, you do actually get 3,328. So the amount of money that he invested was $3,200.